What's going on everybody? Chatty CRC back with you and welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day. We are getting started with our first video in our series and journey into iNav. Now iNav has been out for a while now. It's an open source for kind of looks a lot like Betaflight. Works with planes and also multi-rotors. And the reason why I am getting into iNav at this point is because A, I have a wing that I want to put it in, and B, it now offers more support for some of our actual long range drone type of boards that we would actually use, including the Betaflight F3, F4, DYS F4 Pro. Gone are the days of having to use different kind of omnibus flight controllers that may or may not be the best performing boards that are out there. This is configurator 1.9.1, which is available on the iNav GitHub. Here's what that download page looks like. I'll put a link to this in the description. I have my ReadyMade RC Recruit setting right here. And if I go down to the CLI, which all of this looks very familiar, if I type version, you can see that indeed, this is on a Betaflight F3 board version 1.9. Now these are RC candidates, so this is really fresh stuff that's coming out, but so far so good, at least with my setup. Everything is working as planned. Quick run through of the configurator. We'll be going through all of this stuff individually. Uh, they have, this is for wings or multi-rotors. They have an extensive accelerometer calibration, magnetometer settings, barometer type of settings. They have presets that are set up here for you. So you can kind of get yourself off and running a little bit easier. Now, as far as performance goes, of course you're not gonna be able to dial this in like you could a Betaflight quad, but if you're going long range and you really want a peace of mind, then having something like a fail safe with return to home is going to be very, very important for you. You have your typical ports where you set up all of your different things like your GPS and your serial RX. I am running TPS Crossfire on this one, so you can see that that is already set up. All the features that were in the F3 or the DYS F4 Pro, which I've actually used too, are all built into here. Battery voltage, current sensor, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's different tuning pages, but if you select a preset, most of the presets, at least for planes, work pretty good, and they are working really hard to get good default settings for those preset size, what you can see, which are your different five inch type of quads. Setting up your receiver, your modes, all that kind of stuff is all the same. There's your GPS. You can also plot missions and everything within iNav. And if you have an Android app, um, you can actually uh, get a Bluetooth module and you can Bluetooth stuff to this as well. It's got a fully featured and functional OSD, just like everything in Betaflight. Black box logging, CLI, pretty much everything that you could ever want. So that's it for this video, guys. Please subscribe, and there's going to be a lot more coming on iNav. We'll talk to you later.